Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. Well, here she is, our self cover fabric journal. She is done. Um, I went ahead and finished it, and it, today's video is just going to be a flip through. Okay, so um, this, is, of course, is our cover and our spine that we did last week. I showed you how I did that last week. There's the back. Okay, and this is our closure here. We've got the soft kind of netting that I got from a dress. She is a chunky monkey. Um, pretty chunky. Pretty chunky. I left actually some things uh, empty. I left a few pockets empty because I think whoever owns the journal will want to put things in some of the pockets. So um, I didn't fill every single spot, but almost every spot is filled. To be honest with something so anyways um, here is our inside cover we have this pocket here I didn't go overboard and fill it with a bunch of stuff but I did put this little uh, sweet girl on the front I did this with vellum I went ahead and glued her down first and then I did a vellum frame um, and I thought that was cute be still and she's holding her mouth <laughs> I hope you guys think that's cute. I thought that was sweet. And inside, what I've put is a card. Um, we actually made this card on the channel together. This was one of the first um, jelly plate backgrounds. And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. And then on the back, I just did a little, you know, brushed a little um, mulberry on there and a couple of hearts. And then I went ahead and gave them a blank coffee dyed page with some stamping on it okay so that's what's inside the envelope okay here we go so here is um, this was done on the channel most of the stuff in this journal we did together at some point almost all of it now the things I did today and I actually have been working on this journal since it's now 11:23, and on on Friday August 19th so you'll be seeing this next Friday um, but I went ahead and finished it this morning and I've been working on it since my husband left at about five so yeah, I'm a little tired. <laughs> anyway, so we have one of our tags that we made together on the channel. Okay, and it says choose joy and well loved. Or it says vintage well loved. That's right, I liked that one. So that goes in there. And I kind of like having the little tabs stick up a little bit. I think it's cute. And then we've got the butterfly on the lace. And then this one uh, is one of the ones we did together that pops out and then goes back down in the hidden journal card. And then inside I've done a, I did some, um, I glued down, this is some note paper that I have that I just love. It's out of these notebooks that I bought years ago from, I don't know, Barnes and Noble, I think. And they're Paris themed and I had like three of them because I liked them so much I went back and bought more of them and I've used the paper since then for my junk journaling and this is avocado dyed and then this is one of the parts of our little snippet strip we made the other day and it says the Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works and I made a top pocket up here for this so she's so whoever gets it has a pocket a journal card and another journal card and it says whatever you ask in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours oh and then I sewed a little button over here on the corner and did a little piece of ruffle that I had sitting on the desk we've got some journaling paper journaling paper and then here we have this is a pocket made from the same material we made the journal from and this is one of our um, our cards that we did and inside this is another envelope and this is the rest I went ahead and used the rest of the uh, snippet strip on that and then inside is empty okay because I I just kind of felt like you know some things you need to leave them a little bit of space so that they can put things somewhere so and then here we have our little if this one opens up I don't know if you guys remember we made these together um, Ooh, I 
I've got some glue here. Oh boy. I'm glad I pulled on this. I'm going to have to fix this after the video. Look at that. Okay. I'm glad I opened that. Um, anyway, these open up. You've got your pockets. You've got your pockets. And then you have your journaling space. So. Did I glue that in as a pocket? No. I left that one. Okay, my hands are covered in distress ink, so I apologize, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> What's new, right? So we have some journaling space, more paper. I haven't counted, but I think there's probably at least 80 pages of, of writing space in here. It's probably more than that, but that's what I can guess at. So we have vintage memories. This is one of the ones we made together. Again, the booklet that has the pockets inside. And we have our little tags here. Okay. And I glued this in as a pocket, and this is in there. My Edith, one of my Edith Holden friends, the puppy and the little girl. I, I, this turned out really well, and um, I'm excited about that. Okay, so here we have another one of the tags we made the other day, and another Edith Holden. Uh, this was a full book page pocket we made from the Edith Holden book. I gotta do some more videos on that. Now I left this pocket empty here. There's a pocket here. I'm not gonna pull on it well here. I'm just making sure you can get in it. Yeah, you can get in it. So there's that pocket there. Then there's this one and then I glued it in like that. So you've got a third very deep pocket there. And then this was one of our alcohol ink prints. I think I showed it to you the other day. So I stuck that in there. I thought it looked pretty. We've got some little pearls here. I painted those with um, mulberry. They are actually like this. I got those at Hobby Lobby. No, 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 no. Not Hobby Lobby. I got those at the Dollar Tree. Just remember. More journaling space. And then we have this lovely lady with some ribbing down the side. And then another tag and inside there it says blessed. And of course this is this has got two pockets, one here, one in the front. Okay, and that says unconditional love. Over here we have a little flip out, and then I went ahead and stamped some lines so that you can write right here. And then you have two envelopes, okay, that you can, you know, little tuck spots that you can put things. And I just, I just did this with glue. I didn't do any sewing on this except the, the ruffle. I had sewn that before. Okay, did a little stamping. I did some stamping throughout, um, off and on. Not on every page, but. And then we have our couple that had a beautiful day. And then another card. I just love these cards. I've got to make more of them. They're so much fun. They're so grungy looking and just, I don't know, just old looking. This is glued in as a pocket as well. Here I only put one card. We have strength and honesty. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. I just did a little distressing on it. This is one of those spots I decided to kind of leave. It's got that and then it's got the three. And I thought, you know, the person who owns it will probably want to put some things in the pockets themselves. So, it's a journaling space. Humble, faithful, believe. Okay. We got this little, this is actually a side pocket right here. It's a small pocket. And then um, the top pocket here for the, from the envelope. More of the, uh, what, did, what did I call it? Ribbing? <laughs> Ruffle. <laughs> Anyway, I'm tired. I've been working on this journal for like six hours. I'm kind of worn out. <laughs> so pardon me. <laughs> so there's one more of our cards. And again, I love these cards. <laughs> now this is some handmade paper that I had, again, journals from Barnes & Noble. Um, I believe this paper is made in Indonesia, and it is handmade paper. It's got the strings running through. It's really cool. Well, I, I avocado dyed it. It's naturally like an ivory color. And then we have this little gal with a pocket here. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And abide. 
continuously without fading or being lost. So we have a pocket here. I didn't put anything in it on purpose. And then this tag and another pocket up here. Kind of stick that out. I think they look cute sticking out the top. Inspire Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound. More journaling space. Okay, and then this morning I did this. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I, I put this on here. This is a little um, dangle I had made back, I don't know, months ago. Months and months ago with Tina. And then here's a little card that says Amazing Grace. Okay. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans 12, 12. And I did a tiny bit of watercoloring with some, uh, just some watercolor marker to put some, like, leaves behind this because it was a rose, and I just thought it looked kind of pretty. I don't know. I don't think it turned out that great, but, you know. I told you, I have to practice again on all that kind of stuff. I haven't done it in forever. So, anyway, here's this. Uh, it's just a pocket cover. One of Tina's little, uh, from one of her digi kits. Faith, hope, and love. Abide these three. First, first Corinthians 13, 12 through 13. Do not let your heart be troubled. And I said heart. <laughs> I put heart there. <laughs> okay. Here's another journaling card. This is, um, let's see, this one. Oh, this one I used um, more of our background from our jelly plate from the first time I used it. And then here we have another little tag. Okay. It goes in this mini pocket right here. So. All right. And then this young lady here. She comes out of one of Tina's uh, kits. I can't think of which one, but I really like that page. And I've been holding on to it, and I thought this is the perfect spot to use it. And then here I have a journal card. It's just got some coffee dyed paper on the back. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 31. So that fits really nicely in there. Some more vintage music. God keeps his promises. It's just an envelope. I did not fill it. Again, want to leave space for someone. It's another little, um, I did it as a, a pocket, but it's a little folder. Um, and it has another pocket there. So we have two pockets. Nothing is impossible. Remember that. Here's one of our flip outs. This one I did do, I did, uh, Three journal cards in here for you, for whoever buys this one or gets this one. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. So those are our cards. And of course, you can journal on the back of this because this is that flip. So you've got all kinds of journaling space back here. And here we have the belly bands we made. There's that one. And a little card, just, just journal card stamped with a view of, um, I believe that's Italy. Yeah. Here we have a vellum pocket. And I really like these. I thought that they were really pretty. So I printed this digi out on vellum. Just, it looked nice. And then I put one, two, let's see one two five journal cards in here oh and then on the back I did do you guys remember the other day when I was saying that I bet we could roller out our brayer onto paper and use it so I tried it and I got some pretty design so I went ahead and backed this journal card with that I just thought it looked pretty cool okay okay here we go Here's one of our little um, folders that we did that day we did on a mass make. I don't even remember when, it was weeks ago. I think it was like our second or third mass make. And then there's one of our gelato cards. And then here is a bookmark, Believe, Forgiven, Praise God, Saved by Grace. The back has a really cool bronzy paper on it. So that's a bookmark for whatever you want to use it for. And then here's another one of our little 
hidden journal cards glued in as a pocket. Okay. Here's our little beautiful little girl we did the other day and this is also glued in as a pocket. And then I have in here, yeah, we have, this is a pocket here we love because he first loved us. And then another journal card here. I did a little stamping on, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Come Holy Spirit. So these are, and this is part of our Tim Holtz rice paper we did. And, and like, stencil stamping thing that we did yeah came out pretty cool and then I stamped a rose on the back of this that came out not bad for doing I don't do that a whole lot but I've been trying to do it more and more practicing different colors on my stamps <laughs> this goes right in here see thread trailing down there there we go Oh, and the backer for this one is um, our metallic luster that we did the other day. And then here we have Edith Holden journaling card. Okay. And then in the very back, I had done that that little um, the deep folder. I put one thing in here. It's a hand painted cherry blossom, giver of life and blessings. And that, yes, that's a painting I did, so, for a journal card. Okay, so there she is. Um, so what I wanna do is, <laughs> um, I want to do a giveaway for this. And I've never done that yet. I wanna do a raffle, like one of the, you know, where you choose, where the, the system chooses a winner. So my only requirement for that is that you comment, um, letting me know that you'd like to be a part of the raffle, okay? So if you wanna be a part of that, just make just send me a comment and let me know, and I will we'll do that together. I'll do a video special. I'll teach myself how to do this because I haven't looked yet, <laughs> but I'm sure I can figure it out and do the random check, you know, random picker, and um, one of you is going to win this journal, okay? So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow if you come back to have to spend time with me, and um, thank you for hanging out. Have a blessed day. Love you guys. Bye.